Hey everybody, welcome back to Space Progeneers. Uh, we're getting real close to launching, I promise. Um, just as a quick update though, I wanted to let you know that uh, I went ahead and put all these thrusters on here and everybody was like, oh these thrusters are amazing. And I mean, they're really not that powerful. These uh, angled ones anyway. So we're going to have to go to the large ones. You remember the one that's like too long and they looked okay, but I mean, it doesn't really fit the ship design. But we'll have to go to those or like large thrusters. Because we don't want to move super, super slow. We want to be able to have some speed. But to do that, I'm going to need more of, where are they? These things. Superchargers. And I can't make any more because I'm out of gold. Which brings me to this. I'm currently taking apart the mining ship that I had designed and built. Um, it wasn't as efficient as the other mining ship I have on the other server because I couldn't remember how to uh, to uh, build it properly, mainly. But uh, other than that, also it's just uh, there uh, is a mod that allows uh, for these like super huge drills on the server, and I want to kind of play with that some. See, uh, see what that gets me. Let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. Okay. I'm just going to keep tearing it down and then uh, I'm going to start building on a, uh, a new ship design. Uh, I just kind of wanted to bring you guys in to see that I have been making progress on the, uh, the ship with the thrusters. Also, I've changed the light colors and stuff. Uh, I actually don't know if I even showed you the lights before. So I've got these lights, and they're kind of a soft blue. Gosh, I keep hurting myself. It's double gravity right now because the ship and the thing out there. But uh, it's getting all these soft blue. I like it. Um, the texture is still white for the lights, but it glows a soft blue, and I'm pretty okay with the... Where did the light go? I had a light right here. Anyways, and then on the back I have a, a nice H, because that's what you do for like helicopters landing and stuff, right? Anyways, you oh no, just that slight tiny little drop, I promise this is ridiculous. It's alright though, you know, we'll survive. So today, uh, I mean I'm not sure how long ago, by now I've obviously installed it, but today I ordered a... Uh, GTX 980 video card. It's like not quite $600. Ouch! But uh, I'm hoping that maybe I can do some streaming and stuff. And to do that, you need some some good stuff. Why lag? I have the same, same speed as always. Well, you're also running on a toaster there, Sumi. What's my sim speed? Simulation speed is 0.6 for me. It's up there at the top left. Information. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know. Mike's been working on all that to try and get it to uh, run smoother. That's why you see, see how he's kind of running through like molasses? I think that's what that is. But anyways. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. So I've been trying to work on things a little bit. <clears throat> uh, those pieces just aren't connected now. So, <clears throat> anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tear up the ship, and uh, then... Uh, I'll bring you back when I've kind of got a design and a, an idea for the what the fuck for the next miner. Um, I'll bring you back for that design. And before before I end this episode, I think I'm going to try and have the uh, ship ready to go. I'm mostly just going to be.
Anyways, uh, I want to try and make sure that we actually take off and head out for the Sume's area this episode. And uh, next episode, we'll be like, we'll be there. Because there's nothing, I mean, it's just a journey, right, through empty space. So we will uh, we'll see what happens. I'll bring you back when I've got uh, the ship mostly built or even completely built. And then uh, I'll do some mining off camera and then come back and we'll finish out the ship. Okay, be right back. All right, guys, little update. This is kind of the, the design I'm going with so far. Every damn time. Stupid fucking hard drive. I've really got to start recording to the other one instead. Uh, for some reason, that one always, like, when it's idle, it just shuts down. Anyways, what I was saying is this really fucking big drills. <laughs> and I'm going with the open cockpit. Check this out. This is, this is stupid. It's just, it's dumb. But it looks cool. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna be drilling like this. No problems. No problems at all. <laughs> oh, we are stupid. But that's okay. Because hey, why not? Uh, anyway, so this is gonna be kind of the, uh, the outline of the ship. I will uh, plan on building a little bit more of a frame to it. I gotta put a reactor on it and whatnot. Now these things, these drills hold like a ridiculous amount of uh, component or uh, not components, a ridiculous amount of uh, which columns uh, storage space. Holds a ridiculous amount of storage space. So I'm gonna keep building this, and uh, I'll bring you back, guys back when I'm uh, when I'm done. And welcome back. We, uh, it's actually next day, but I know we said that we were going to work on our miner a little bit, get it going, do the thing, get some stuff, make some thrusters, work on the ship, uh, and I still have every intention of, of this episode that I will compile together, launching the, the main ship. But, uh, I just wanted to say that the miner didn't turn out the way I wanted, so I kind of scrapped it and went back to the drawing board. Might have gone a little overboard. Um, it's uh, it's something. I uh, I really like the design, first and foremost. What was that? It looked like an asteroid or something, or a meteor, I mean. Uh, I like the design. I think it's it's quite quite sleek, quite nice. Got stripes. It's it's a bit mean looking, which I'm okay with. But uh, yeah, it it looks honestly it looks like one big ass drill. Like one of the let's see where are the other drills at? Drill. It looks kind of like you know one of these just really big. Let's see, where's the azimuth ones? Kind of like that, maybe? I don't know. Anyways. Um, so this is the, this is the miner now. Four gyroscopes, two large thrusters in every direction. Uh, I tried to get some of the, the azimuth thrusters on this, but, like, let's see, this is just a plain old azimuth thruster, and it's, it's tiny, it's just a little tiny thing, and the construction components for it are, like, really small, so I'm like, that's probably not going to be very powerful, and then they have, it kind of jumps from that to this, and then from that to this. So, like, as you can see, this one's freaking huge. I don't need a thruster that big. And, I mean, where would I put it? You know, like, I'd, I'd need one in every direction anyway. That's just way too big. And then you go down to the, the next smaller. It's still that same freaking size. I think it might be, like, one shorter. Maybe. 
So, ugh. But anyways, so that was the update I wanted to give you. I just uh, figured I would show you guys what I've been wasting all my time on, because I spent a lot of time on this. So, uh, alright. Got that going. Doing the things. I'm going to get some of the ores down there and whatnot, and uh, then we'll paint the ship and move on with life. So I'll see you guys in the next bit. Hello everyone. I know it's still the middle of an episode, but this is a completely different day. Uh, there's been a lot of updates to the um, programs, or not the programs, sorry, the Space Bros um, server. Mike's been working on a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to improve performance and whatnot, and part of that is addition to rules that says there are no more than four of any default vanilla tool to uh, to the ships, and for Earthbreaker drills, it's actually increased to uh, no more than two on a small ship or no more than one on a large ship. So our seven drill ship has to go, which I'm okay with because it was honestly just way too big to uh, to live anyway. So I'll need to get rid of it, and I'm I'm okay with that. And so I was like, okay, well, well, I need a, a drilling ship because I don't want to sit here and just you know drill this whole thing over and over again. It'd be terrible having to go back and forth. And uh, I had Weldy here, and Weldy was a good design. I liked Weldy. Uh, but she's bulky. She's really, really bulky. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a dual design. And my brother had something similar to this, and I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna kind of copy that, but slim it down even more. Because he had cockpits and, like, a, a frame and everything, and this is, like, as minimalistic as possible while still having the, uh, the access that I need. So, I have the two conveyors that uh, share inventories via this one conveyor frame so they share inventories so that the two medium cargo containers can access both sides um, for both welders and both drills uh, hand drills not drills what are they uh, saws hand saws or ship saws whatever and then I've got uh, a beacon in there so that uh, that's another thing, by the way, that is a uh, requirement on the server. All ships must have beacons now, which uh, makes sense from especially Mike's point of view, because he can probably find the beacons and teleport to them in case somebody like has a ship that just blasts off through space and just causes a bunch of lag and shit. So uh, yeah, I got a bunch of the azimuth thrusters, just the the plain old ones. It's Four forwards and backwards, and then two in every other direction, as far as I'm aware. Then I got a couple of these little uh, azimuth fusion reactors, which are awesome. Uh, plenty of power and everything in them. So far, doing quite well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, basically, I'm just going to tear down uh, the the big drill ship, and uh, then I'll probably tear down Weldy too, because I don't need her now. I've got I've got the the rescue. The WLF, which is apparently the faction I'm in with Sume. Space Wolves, I guess? I don't know. He's a lone wolf. And uh, I think this will actually connect to the ship better, too, because it's flat. So I should be able to, to dock it on the, the landing thing. Uh, there's also an, a mod in called Safe Docking, which I would need to design something other than this ship or expand this ship more than I really care to to take advantage of. So, if everything falls apart and breaks, then that's just kind of my bad. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame anybody else because there is a better option, and I'm not partaking of it as of yet. So, there's that. But anyways, um, that's kind of me right now. I have a, a beacon there that I've I built that one time that we'll be setting up for Outpost Alpha for when we are leaving. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys the quick update that I am, in fact, going to tear these two ships down, and then we'll have this one. 
Uh, and then I'll, I'll probably build a regular drill ship. Um, I can actually have eight of the... of the tiny drills, the azimuth tiny drills. And I might see that, just to see if I can make a cute little teeny weeny ship with eight drills. Just because that's funny to me. I like little tiny ships, I don't know why. Like this minimalistic kind of tiny flat ship is just awesome looking to me. Oh, and it's got cockpits on either side. Check to see that. Cockpits on either side, so that I can... Like if I need to weld, I jump in on this side and I go forward and stuff. If I need to, to, to do the grinder, then I jump in on this side. <laughs> It's good stuff. Anyways, I shall return uh, when we have come back to the ship to do painting and all of that fun stuff. Alright guys, I've uh, done some work here. Notice a few things. Number one, I drilled out all of our uh, platinum and, and uranium that was here. I've also removed the assembler and the refinery, the new rules and the reactor as well. The new rules for the server um, say that uh, you can only have two refineries and uh, assembler per person type of thing, which I'm I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, but it means that I can't really I can't really leave this stuff here. For someone else to find or whatever. I fully intended to, but it's just kind of not really going to happen. I am going to leave these things here, though, um, just kind of as, you know, an abandoned base. Somebody will come by and be like, what the fuck is this? It'll probably be Mike, and he'll be like, why the fuck did somebody leave all this bullshit here? And then I'll feel bad, but, you know, I've, I've done some damage to the, uh, the different things. Maybe like right in there, and then right there. Just to kind of make it look a little more abandoned-y. You know, it's got some wear and tear on it. Oh, God. There we go. Gonna leave the uh, the solar panel, though. And I'm leaving the mostly finished med bay and mostly finished gravity generator with the uh, cargo container here. With a little bit of uranium. That way, if anybody, you know, does show up, they can use it or at least gain a little bit of something out of it. Um, we finished the paint job. I went with the silver and blue, kind of like uh, Mass Effect, if you will, for the Alliance, because I like those designs of the ships. Uh, it's not great. I mean, I'm not great with painting stuff. So I just kind of like took some edges here and, you know, painted painted some of the stuff. It's nothing nothing super special. <laughs> I showed you this ship already, but let me get it. Whoa, whoa. The sim speed is really low lately. I'm not sure if that's uh, because of the area I'm in, or if people are just doing some crazy stuff, or what, but it's unfortunate. Okay. Let's look out. Alright. Need to go this way with it. Something along those lines there. Maybe tilted like that. Oh yeah. I'm setting up both this and beep boop over here. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you beep boop. I don't think I did. I designed beep boop on uh, the explosive currency server, and then Pin A promptly crashed him. But that's okay because I saved the blueprint. Uh, I've he's he's normally just this one little robot piece here with the drills as arms, but I've added the cargo container and the connector so that he is now my official mining ship for, you know, whatever little bits I need. Nothing too cray. It's a nice little ship is all. Let's zoom out. Line up proper. Just get closer to so. Right about there looks good. Stay right there, Beboop. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock um, both ships down. What is with my frame drop? I, I hope you guys don't see this. Because for me, it's jerking like crazy. While Bandicam shows that I still have 120 frames, it's like, not so much on everything else. Okay, I've got them locked in place. I have everything with a beacon, which is what we're supposed to have now, uh, except for the thing I'm leaving behind. Okay, so that's done. Last thing I need to do here is turn off the reactors, because the thrusters and stuff have a tendency to uh, interfere with the main ship when you're driving. So I always just turn everything off. We. And the ship's not that fast. Um, I'll give a quick turn off, please. Thank you. I'll give, give a quick rundown here of what I did. Um, I've got the thrusters. I used the... See, apparently other people are as well. Uh, I used the large thrusters, <clears throat> and then I also used the um, thruster sloped. What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I used the thruster sloped, which is slightly more components than the angled ones, which they, they actually take two spaces back instead of one. So I designed a little bit of a difference in the uh, in the ship, not too much. Like here, instead of the stairs being all the way on both sides the, with the ramps, now it's just kind of here because this is the end of the thruster. So I just kind of went with it. It's like, okay, well now there's the the walkway there. And that's actually a thruster base as well right there. And then in the back... Man! Our sim speed is horrible. And I get frame drops like cray. So thrusters there, thruster there, and then these are the large thrusters. Um, forward and backwards, obviously, to uh, give me extra thrust. Still not the fastest thing in the world, but, uh, you know, it, uh, it's better than, than you'd expect, I guess, so. Okay. So here's the ship. From a distance, the Cyclops, which I put in my... I put it in my uh, my YouTube video name, um, but I don't know if I ever actually mentioned that that's what I was calling the ship. So now you know, this is the Cyclops. <clears throat> Mostly because when I'm looking at it from the back here, it looks like a Cyclops with his mouth open like... Aah! So off we go on a new adventure. I've got a long way to go, guys. So that's, that's pretty much the end of the episode here. We're taking off. We're heading to, uh, to Sume's base, off in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully make it with our other ships intact. Especially since the uh, rescue ship, the one on the right. If I lose that, that's a lot of materials that I lost because I uh, put everything in it, basically. I should probably change that. Maybe I should do that now. Maybe I should do that now. You know what? No, we're just going to go with it. I've got a refinery and shit. I can make do if it comes to it. Let's go. So, alright. That's, that's pretty much it. You guys can... What was that? You guys can leave now. The episode's over.